So guys, we are going to continue the discussion with respect to Git. Um, already in our previous video, we have seen how to install Git CLI. We have seen how to do the setup by configuring all the information of your uh, GitHub repositories and all by using this global username dot user dot email and all. Um, we also seen about Git init, Git clone URL, um, Git status, add, reset, and we have seen a lot of commands related to branching, how to check out a specific branch, how to merge a specific branch and all. In this video, we are going to cover a very super important topic because this topic is must for everyone, you know, that is merging branches and resolving conflicts. Now see it guys, in most of the companies, right, where you have a team of developers, many people will be committing into the same repository again and again, right? So let's say that this is my main repository. So let's say this is my main repository. Okay. Now let's say this, there are two developers, developer A and developer B, okay? And let's say they have assigned story one and they have assigned story two to developer B, right? Now, when the developer A starts the work, first of all, developer A, and always remember in this main branch, your entire code base repository will be there, okay? Everybody probably, if they are committing in the develop, uh, in, in any branches, later on, they have to merge to this main branch, okay? So initially to start the story one, what the developer A will be doing is that it will check out a branch from the main branch because the main branch will be having the entire code base repository. So once they do that and they will be working on their own stories, let's say the stories work is going on. At the same time, what happens because developer B also needs to parallelly start his own story, right? And uh, they have to develop this entire story or any module that they are trying to develop, right? Over here. So what they will do? they will also take out a, or check out a branch from this particular main branch because the main branch has the code base repository. The entire code base repository is basically present over here, right? Code base repository is present over here. Let's say that, okay? Now, when the developer A checks out a branch, so it will definitely create this entire module. And at the end of the day, it is going to merge this specific branch over here back, right? To this particular branch. It is going to merge this entire code that is been written in the story one, it is going to return it back to the main branch. Now, in this point of time, when developer B completes its story, so what it has to do, it has to then merge this entire branch back to the main branch. But here you can see that developer A may have added a lot of files and probably in the previous code base, in some of the files, in the same files, some changes may have happened where developer B may be working. Now, in this scenario, there will definitely be a situation which is called as conflict, right? Because developer A had also added something in file name one. Let's say in file one, they have made some changes in the code. And in the same file, developer B is also making some ch changes. So obviously, there will be a conflict. Sorry, in, in the same file, that is in the file one. Let's say developer B is also making some changes. So obviously, there will be a conflict with respect to the changes from developer A and developer B. Now, when the developer B pushes this code, there will be an error saying that, okay, some conflict has actually occurred. So how do we fix that? For that, we have to resolve that conflict. And today in this video, I'll show you how to resolve that particular conflict. It's more about merging your code in a proper way. Okay. So first of all, let me just go to my GitHub. I will create a new repository and probably show it to you. Okay. So let's say this is my, uh, some application I'm trying to develop. Okay application i'm just going to write application over here and uh, let's say fine this uh, this is my application over here and uh, what i'll do i will uh, add a readme file and you can also go and add a git ignore file so here i'll be saying python and license can be general public license and i'll create the repository now this is the first step now see guys i have made two folders okay uh, i have made a folder git merge conflict so let's say in this local folder i'm going to write developer a and whatever developer a is trying to make the changes in the code he will try to make in this and similarly i will be having developer b okay so this will be developer b perfect so developer a developer b is there now what i'll do is that i will just go and open my command prompt and i'll clone the repository first of all okay so i will uh, quickly clone the repository but before that let me just open it um, yeah, so I will just clone the repository. Okay, so I will say git clone. How do you clone a repository over here? It's very simple. 
I will go over here, copy this entire git, go over here, okay, and I'll say, uh, I'll first of all, I go to this specific path because I need to clone in this specific path, right? So here it will be CD. Just go to your E folder, automatically the changes will happen. And now I will say git clone and uh, I will go to my GitHub repository, copy this and uh, paste it in my command prompt, okay? So git clone. So once I do this, you'll be able to see that the entire cloning of the application will take place, okay? Perfect, I think we are good enough to go with respect to this, okay? So once the cloning will happen, you'll be able to see that the application is over here, git ignore file, everything is here. The same step I'll be doing it for developer B. Now for the developer B, what I'm actually going to do, let me open another command prompt. It will be good because I want to execute all the codes in different, different command prompt. Basically command, I want to execute all the git commands in different, different folders. Specific branch uh, that is developer B. And I, again, I'll clone this entire thing. So here I'm going to write git clone and I'll paste this entire git command, okay? So entire cloning will happen. Now you can see I will be having developer B also. I'll be having developer A also. Now guys, after cloning, now you can see that every coding that I'm actually going to do with as a developer A, I'm going to do over here. And everything, every changes or every story that I create for developer B, I'm going to do it over here. Now this two folders is exactly made like you are just working in a separate, separate uh, system, let's say and you are doing the coding over there and you are trying to commit it from there, okay? Now, the first thing, uh, let's let's go back over here, okay? And let's see developer A, this is the application. So right now, uh, let me just open the another command prompt over here. You can see this is for developer B and this is for developer A, okay? Now, a super important thing that I'm actually going to do is that let's check out a branch. So right now, if I probably see git branch, and the branch will be something like master, I guess. Master or main. Okay. So git branch. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. I have to go inside the fol folder called as application in developer A. Okay. So I'm going to clear the screen. Now, if I go and write git branch, you will be able to see git branch. Okay. Now here you see that it is a main branch because we have already cloned it from this specific branch. Okay. Now, as a developer A, let's say that I want to make some changes. I want to, I want to add some files or I want to uh, add my own story, right? Like I, I want to do some kind of development or any changes that I want to make. So first of all, I will check out the branch. Okay. So I'll say get branch and I will make a branch which is like developer A. Okay. So let's say this is the new branch and then I will check out this uh, developers A branch. Okay. So you can see now it is switched to developer A branch. Okay. So now this is now if I go and see get status, Obviously, there will be no changes because I have not made any changes as such. Now, I'll go over here in developer A and open this readme file in my notepad. Okay. Here, application is written, right? So, here I'll say changing developer A or adding developer A story. I'm just writing something, some information. It can be code. It can be anything. So, uh, adding uh, developer A story developer a story so before application also i'll try to update it okay perfect now this is the changes that has gone okay now i'll just update it okay and now if i probably see git status you'll be seeing that okay there is some file that has got modified and it is inside this developer a obviously the branch is developer a okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to commit it right so i'll say commit minus m on uh, developer a story changes right so I'm just going to add the story changes or uh, wait. Okay. Developer A commit A. Uh, okay. Something has been wrong. Okay. Okay. Sorry. One thing I missed it around, right? I have to basically add get add dot, which I missed it, right? Not a problem. Uh, because again, you always need to make sure that you continuously check the status because I, I missed that particular thing. So it did not get added. Now I'm just going to add committed so here will be my commit along with the message saying that developer a story okay and i will execute it now you can see that this is fine which branch i am in get branch you can see developer a now what i'll do is that i will check out to the main branch now i have done this checkout to the main branch so that i can merge this main branch with the developer a branch right in my local 
So I'll say git merge. I want to merge develop array to main, right? So I'll write git merge developer a, right? So once I do this, you'll be able to see that, okay, it has gone uh, updated now. Now, if I probably see git status over here, nothing is there. Everything is in the main branch. Um, and right now I'm currently in my main branch itself. Okay. So here you can see main branch. Now, what I will do is that I will push this entire changes from my origin because after developer A completes his or her story, he has to actually push this entire changes to the main branch, right? So right now we have merged that developer A branch to the main branch. Now this particular main branch is going to get pushed into the main repository. So I'm going to write git push origin to main. So once I do this, you'll be able to see that, okay, all the changes are gone. And if I reload this here, you'll be able to see two commits will happen and update application adding developer A story. So this changes has already happened. Now, before that, what happened? Developer B also started that stories, right? Started his or her story. So let's say we go to now the developer B. Okay. We go to now the developer B over here. Okay. And I will go to CD application. Okay. Now, right now, you know that, okay, some commit has already gone to the main repository over here, right? Developer A stories. Okay. And before that only, the main copy is basically taken by this developer B. Now, again, here, what it will do, we will just make a branch. Okay. Let's say get branch. I'm going to make for developer B because this is the process we do. We always have to create a branch whenever we start a new story so that uh, it is actually a good practice altogether so that you are curiously working on your story and when you're merging, you'll definitely get some conflicts. Then I'll do git checkout developer B. Okay. Uh, sorry, developer B. Hmm? And uh, here you can see that uh, it is switched to developer B right now. Okay. Now, if I probably go and see with respect to developer B and if I open this readme file, you'll be able to see that I, I have, okay, I have updated some of the things over here, application developer B and all. So what you can do is that here I will, I will just of all write something. Okay. Let's see developer B. I'm just going to update this application. Okay. And the next thing, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to say, go, uh, get, uh, status. Now, if I probably see status, obviously modified readme file will be there. And then I will add this readme file, get add dot. And then I will say get commit minus M. This is basically my developers come developer B commit. Okay. Now see in that same file, I have actually updated it right now. If I probably see now the git status, you'll be able to see nothing is there. Okay. Now let's say I'm going to switch back to the main branch. So I will say git checkout main. Now this has again come back to the main branch. Now we will try to merge this entire thing into the main branch. So I'll write git merge, git merge uh, from the developer B branch. Okay. Developer B branch. And this is basically with respect to the local snapshot. Okay. So here you can see that something has been inserted and something has been deleted. Okay. Now, if I probably try to open this, you will be able to see that I have got the changes updated application developer B. Perfect. This is fine. Now, the main thing is that we have to push these changes to the main branch, but understand developer A has already pushed something over there. So are we going to get an error because he has also pushed some information in the same file. So what I will write, I will write git push and let's see after pushing what will happen. So here you'll be able to see that uh, this, this, this rejected error failed to push this, this, this is there. This is usually caused by another repository pushing the same reference. You want to first integrate the remote changes by using git pull. So now let me just go ahead and do git pull. So once I do git pull, you'll be able to see that there is some conflict, right? And this conflict was because the first developer A pushed something into the main branch over there in the same file. So here it is saying that there is a conflict, merge the conflict into the readme.md file and then only you do all these things, right? Don't try to do any dirty work. Okay. First of all, conflict, all the developer changes. Some of the developer has again pushed before you. So you have to fix this issue. So what now, if I just go and open this, you will be able to see all the changes. Now you see, this is the content that has been updated by developer B. And this is the same content that is developer by uh, that is updated by developer A, right? 
Now, what I'm actually going to do, you have to do this conflict changes manually. Okay. So let's say I want to add, include both of them. So I will go ahead and do this entire conflict changes and I'll save it. So both the information has now been merged and you have to do this conflict very curiously guys because understand when you are coding in bigger bigger files there will be functions or modules that may be integrated or there may be changes in the previous function or module so you really need to merge that conflict very much very much uh, in a in a proper way otherwise it is the complete mess okay i have seen many developers they completely override your code you know whatever code you have actually committed so this may actually happen now here it is so I'm just going to save this and close it. Now fine, everything merge is done. So now I'll go and see my git status. Here you can see both modified readme file is there. So I will now write git uh, add this and then I will say git status. It is already fine. Changes to be committed. So if you see changes to be committed, that basically means I'm just going to commit developer B story. Okay, developer B story. So once I do that, done and all it is get push now tell me whether this will work or not it will obviously work i'm super sure about that now here you can see that everything has been committed now if i go and probably reload this github repository so here you can see updated developer b updated application adding developer a story everything has got updated and now you will be able to see that how we have easily fixed the merge conflict issue right super super important topic guys uh, so yes uh, this is what you will definitely face in uh, when you're working in a bigger team a lot of complex issues will try to resolve because parallel stories will get implemented by many developers right now yes this was it and now we'll uh, in the upcoming videos we are going to come uh, we are going to still follow some more videos uh, i'm going to create some more videos related to this git rm move log stash and we'll try to see what is the differences, right? So yes, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.